What the fudge is an academic argument? Hi, I'm Gabby from MyThesisCoach.com, and I'm smiling because today I'm addressing one of the questions I get asked almost the most in my work as a writing coach and a thesis coach. And that is, Gabby, what is an academic argument? I keep being told I need to have one, but I don't know what it is. So let's start off first by looking at what is a plain old argument. So an argument is a statement of what you think or what you believe. So I think that Cape Town is the prettiest city in the world. Or mm, I think that dogs are better than cats. Don't hate me. Or whatever. That's a good old plain argument. Now, what is an academic argument? An academic argument is when you make a statement of something that you think, but you back it up with credible literature, with empirical research, or with any other kind of good academic evidence. So whereas in an argument you might have said, I think Cape Town is the prettiest city in the world. In an academic argument, you will say, Cape Town is the prettiest city in the world. This is supported by Smith. 2015, who explained that Cape Town is very pretty with a nice mountain and pretty beaches. This was also supported by a survey carried out to 100 travellers from international countries who ranked Cape Town the prettiest city in the world. Therefore, it can be seen that Cape Town is the prettiest city in the world. Can you see the difference there? When it was just an argument, it was a statement of what you thought or believed. But when it's an academic argument, it's that strong statement backed up by credible evidence, which could be literature, which could be empirical research, it could be secondary sources, but you are backing up that statement. So how do you do it? And in that little example I gave you, you saw some of the ways that you can do that strongly. The first was, did you notice I opened it, that little explanation with a very strong sentence, Cape Town is the prettiest city in the world. There we go, a strong statement of my argument. Then did you say, did you see how I supported it with, this is backed up by whoever who said blah, blah, blah. It is also supported by research. Can you see those little phrases? This is backed up by. It is also supported by. Those little phrases help to weave together, together my evidence. And that evidence is supporting my argument. So that was within my little explanation. And do you remember I ended that paragraph with, therefore, it is clear that Cape Town is the prettiest city in the world. I reiterated my argument there at the end of the paragraph. So you can see, I wasn't shy about it. I always say an academic argument is not like a joke that you have to hold the punchline to the very end. You want to make it super clear for the reader so that there's no confusion around what that argument actually is. So remember, when you're crafting your academic arguments, be explicit. No reader is ever annoyed because they can understand your work too clearly. So there we go. That's an academic argument. I hope that's cleared up your confusion around that. Remember to subscribe to this channel, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye.